we're going to build a vertical array of base. The idea being that if we make them tall enough, then we might keep the sound out of the roof and therefore not annoy the neighbours and therefore have more sound on the dance floor, which is the aim of the whole thing after all. The way we're going to do this is with 24 of these 24s. We know we can do six tall, two wide, stably, just on the ground. That, that'll work. But beyond that, it began to feel like it's a bit dangerous. We're trying to go 12 high, which is eight and a half meters. So because we've got a roof and a sky support, the way we figured we'd do that is so we have six by two on the ground and six by two that is held in a cage. The sound was, was a concept from Tony Andrews. You know, everyone that's played here, there's always been a consensus that the sound isn't that great, that good, it's okay, but it doesn't come at you, all this sort of stuff. You know, where we are is in the middle of where people live and we can't go you know, renegade and go, right, we don't care, have everything. It's how you cover the room with that amount of sound. So Tony's idea of having the stacks going all the way up and the subs going across the room is going to cover everywhere. The rules are that if your wavelength is bigger than your exit, then you will start to get more and more diffraction as that disparity increases. And diffraction means it goes sideways. If we stack them up eight and a half meters, we are in one dimension, the vertical, we're going to be not having diffraction. Therefore, the waves should just go out and stay there. I, at one point, was like, I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> I, know, I, I used to run sound systems. And I always put the subs on the floor because that's where the base is down there. Very experimental, but I think it's going to work really, really well. I like the idea of putting your toe in the water, going, you know what? Let's not go traditional, let's try something else. And if it doesn't quite work, okay, at least we gave it a go. For me, I completely trust his vision. You know, stepping out there today, I haven't heard anything like that. And I haven't seen anything like that before. Without Carl's good wishes and backing and enthusiasm for the idea, I don't think we'd have got it because it's so out of the ordinary, nobody likes to see anything change. It was certainly going to make a statement. And it's quite substantial, you know, there's time pressure. The scope for reputation loss here is absolutely enormous. <laughs> I'm very fond of saying nothing ventured, nothing gained.